Indian football has achieved many milestones over the last few years, but more importantly, after the resurgence in the sport and the country in the 2000s, there now seems to be a definite shift in the perception. Fans are getting behind the Blue Tigers and one man is in the thick of it all. They're currently in Qatar taking part in the AFC Asian Cup for a second consecutive year. That itself is a massive achievement. And to talk about the campaign, about the highs and lows of his own tenure and of course Indian football is the coach of the side, Igor Stimak, who's joining us from Qatar. Welcome to First Sports, Igor, and uh, thanks for joining in. Namaskar. Sure. All right, you start on a right foot, I see, but how is Qatar treating you so far? It's been exciting, first of all, you know. Uh, we do everything for our boys. They can enjoy and be creative to do that. We cannot put them under pressure. Obviously, uh, the group is very tough. As you already know, I could see yesterday or a few days back the average ranking of the groups. And our group is by far more difficult by the rankings, which anyway doesn't mean much. But it shows also how unlucky we were with the draw. But anyway, it's it's a challenge, it's opportunity for all of us to learn, to grow as a team, to become better in the future and to take our chances when they appear there. All right, take us through that first game then against Australia. How disappointing was it? Yeah, overall, I was uh, happy with the boys' attitude, with their commitment, but not satisfied with the quality, you know, because uh, we know already for a few years back that we can defend well against any opposition, you know. But football is not only about defending. It's about being creative. It's about being focused, what to do when you get the ball. It's about being confident and composed on the ball and getting out of that uh, defending mindset which comes back at us again and again throughout uh, the games against difficult opponents, you know. And that's hunting us, I need to tell you, you know. And it will take us more time, obviously, uh, when we face opponents like Australia to overcome such difficulties. It's not going to be easy. I told everyone and explained everyone that that is a process. Uh, once India starts producing a complete footballers, which will have all elements there, apart from uh, having strength, height, uh, speed, uh, uh, technicality, also the character which defines the end picture of each individual and the team at the end of the day. Right, well said there, but there are of course two big games coming up uh, after this, Uzbekistan, that's tomorrow, and uh, then Syria. How do you see this uh, as a matchup? It isn't going to be easy. Listen, our biggest disappointment prior to the tournament were the injuries which affected this team. You know, uh, we lost so much, so much power losing Ashik, Anwar, Jigson and at the end Sahal, which is tremendous for us. You know, such a four key figures uh, for our team. It's difficult to replace. When you when you have one of the key players missing, then you you have certain handicap in different areas in the pitch. Losing four of them, and all four are uh, with a good physical strength, good physical presence, technically, I would say one of the best players we have in the team. Then you lose big part of your confidence on the pitch whenever you get the ball. Because these are the players who can hold the ball, who can, with their strength, hold on, wait on others to join, you know, and give us opportunity to create in the final third. Right. Now we are we are uh, here with what we got. It's not enough for opponents we are having in the group, but there we need to see the character. And our boys have it, I need to tell you, because against Australia, they gave more than they, they could at this moment. Uh, the disappointing moments of the games were sloppy goals. It happened against Qatar. It happened against Australia. And our boys need to understand when you face teams like that, you have one silly mistake, they punish you. So these are micro details inside our game and they need to be sorted out. But to eliminate all macro details which are hunting us, we need time to be together. 
This is what I was insisting on and, and telling everyone to make the picture perfect and clear and to make everyone understand in each situation what needs to be done. The time is required to be with these boys on the pitch. Yes, uh, Igor, I think all of your reservations about not enough time given to the practice camps or to the entire schedule uh, has been made quite clear. But having said that, though, there does, seems to be a, there does seem to be a change in the way we perceive Indian football to be now on from the time you took charge to this point here. Do you sense that yourself? And if so, when and how has that shift come about? Here. I mean, the, the key point for me staying here is because we had executed tremendous work in the past four and a half years. We went, we started one very difficult process. We didn't lie to anyone. We were very honest, telling the truth, what needs to be done, how patient we need to be, how much harder work needs to be placed on the ground, off the pitch, on the pitch. How much we change the mindset of the players, how much we change their approach to their profession, how much we worked on nutrition, how much we worked on meditation processes, how much awareness was there to make aware these young boys that the career is short, that each day needs to be organized perfectly, that each day they need to improve in certain aspects of their life. It was really important to make them aware that they need to go throughout every day uh, consciously, not unconsciously, you know, letting seconds pass by them, hours, days, and doing nothing. And this hard work is giving us benefits. Slowly, it's a process, I'm telling you, uh, for decades, hasn't been done much in Indian football. The football culture was lost on the way. You know, people started following other sports, engaging to other things. And now to rebuild all that, it takes lots of time. Simple as that. To create one football player, a complete football player takes 12 years of hard work. So from year year six to 18, it's 12 years of very complex process where at the first phase from year six to 15, the kid just needs to enjoy fun games. He needs to start loving football. He needs to learn not how to win games. He needs to learn how to handle defeats and disappointments because many more of these are there than the wins you understand so uh, this educational process needs to be done perfectly in india it hasn't been done uh, through that age they need to go through uh, mastering technicality of football tech basic skills are necessary so football games fun games and all that from year 15 to 18 it comes uh, uh, hard work on physical strength agility mm. muscle strength uh, tactical work game understanding uh, developing the character also very important mm. and at the end it's up to the player is he ready to sacrifice nights out with his friends mm. girlfriends and others <laughs> and keep working hard throughout this age which is crucial from 17 to 20 when they are maturing you know from little boys into a man, how much sacrifice they are ready to put in. So it's a lot of sacrifice and this process needs to be installed in India. Yeah, and it's a long way from where we are today. But having said that, we always say it isn't easy being a foreign coach, uh, in a non-Indian coach in the country. What has been your biggest learning as a coach here so far? I love my work here. Uh, there is one very big reason for that because i work with very honest and hard-working young men uh, their readiness to do whatever uh, they ask to do and follow and do their best it's amazing they are very committed young boys also they have their challenges you know they are distracted they are put into position where they enjoy certain comfort of uh, getting certain payments and good salaries and good contracts and when you are young that can hurt you that that can mislead you and take you away from the path which is necessary to have and stay on but i need to say i'm proud on all of them most of them you know not many of them went out of the path we have taken right and as we know the 
relationship between a coach and a captain, a bond, is very, very crucial for any team going forward. Describe yours with Sunil Chetri. I mean, with, with Sunil, is, with Sunil Sandesh and Gurpreet, is a little bit different when with others, than with others, you know. Uh, but my feelings towards any of them is at the same level, you know. I'm trying to be uh, the best father they can have, the best friend they can get while they are here and even when we are not together. I'm here to give them advices. I'm here to warn them when I see that something is going wrong. I'm here to be honest with them, not to lie to them, to encourage them with the wrong ways, you know. So, Sunil, as a captain, Sandesh and Gurpreet are treated in a way differently because all these boys, you know, they, they have, they are coming from different cultures. You know, even some of them, they don't understand each other they, if they don't speak English amongst them. So, different cultures, different mentalities, different characters, and I need my captains to help me to make sure that the rest of the boys understand perfectly what I am insisting on. So they are my right hands. They are the boys who are uh, presenting my words, you know, to the team and explaining in detail what needs to be done and how to execute our plans.